Alrighty guys, you've seen the title of this one. So this is something that I haven't wanted to talk about for quite a while because it was quite upsetting, to be honest, and uh, really put me off <laughs> taking photos for a little while. Um, I will say off the bat that there is a happy ending, so we'll get to that at the end. Uh, but just want to give you my story of what happened with my cameras uh, over the last few months in my attempts to get myself an Astro Modified DSLR. So viewers of the channel will know that I uh, always use my uh, Canon 80D um, camera for all the photos that I've ever taken. They've all been with this camera, uh, which is just a totally stock camera. Um, and uh, basically, I've been wanting a, a modified DSLR for uh, quite a while. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, this is not actually my camera. It's my partner's camera that, uh, you know, she very generously lets me use. And the other thing is that obviously I just want to be able to take photos of emission nebulae and get, get all those reds. Yeah, those are a couple of the reasons. Now, why do I want a, a DSLR as opposed to uh, like a dedicated astro camera that would have cooling and that. And well, the answer is I would love one of those as well. Uh, something that has cooling, uh, especially given how hot it gets here in the summer. But there's a few things that a DSLR is just better at. Number one is a screen and buttons. It's just so much more user friendly, uh, especially if you're going out into the middle of nowhere with, uh, you know, a portable setup, which uh, as you know, I like to do. It's, it doesn't require any computers, you don't have to power it, it has its own battery. It's just a lot more portable and a lot more usable uh, in that setting. So that's number one. Number two is that it's just a lot cheaper. You can buy secondhand DSLRs, you know, quite cheaply on Facebook Marketplace or similar um, and either modify them yourself or have them modified for, you know, maybe half or even less than the cost of uh, a cooled AstroCam. I am constantly scrolling through Instagram and seeing these stunning Milky Way wide angle images taken with Astro modified DSLRs and they just look stunning. And it's something that, you know, yes, you can do it with a cool camera, but to get something with a sensor as big as a, you know, even, even an APS-C sized sensor is going to cost astronomical amounts, no pun intended. So I did a lot of research on what cameras uh, could buy and anything in that kind of three digit series. So like, you know, whether it's the 400, the 500, the 550 and, and so on uh, is generally regarded as a very good uh, beginner to intermediate DSLR for, uh, for astrophotography. So I went out and bought myself uh, a 750D, which I've got right here. Um, and I, it came with a lens, a, a quite a nice Tamron lens actually, that I had no need for. So I turned around and sold that lens separate to this. And so this thing ended up only costing me about $150 reduce, which is pretty good. Got myself a, you know, functioning DSLR for uh, 150 bucks. The only downside is that the automatic flash function in this camera no longer works, which I don't care about because it's for astrophotography. So I got myself a great deal. I was very happy with that. Um, so I took some test images and I'll put them up on the screen now. But what I found was there was this awful horizontal banding uh, in, in the pictures. It didn't just show up on the back of the screen. It was only once you really processed it and stretched the data that it showed up, but it, it, it just kept showing up. And I've done a bunch of research onto what this banding is, and the answer is, it's terrible news. Um, well, this 750D is pretty much the only camera that apparently you shouldn't buy for astrophotography in that three-digit series, uh, which is not something that uh, pops up on a search unless you're specifically searching for things like 750D horizontal banding astrophotography. They tried a new autofocus uh, system inside this sensor and it uses these two rows of pixels um, there's about seven groups of these two rows of pixels that uh, that are used for the autofocus and for whatever reason when you stretch the data those pixels just are show up totally differently to all the other pixels um, this has since been corrected on pretty much all the models since then uh, or at least lessened the effect uh, but in the meantime, I got stuck with that first generation of that new autofocus. Maybe it's still worth modifying. I'm not going to give up on it, but I thought to myself, well, it only ended up costing me 150 bucks. It's not the end of the world. 
uh, maybe I'll look at something else and look, to be honest, I'd probably prefer something more similar to the 80D anyway, because batteries themselves last a lot longer and it's just a little bit better, you know, everything inside it than the three digit series. So maybe, maybe this is a sign. And what I ended up getting was a 70D. So I paid a similar price uh, that I paid for this one. So I paid 350 bucks for this, no lens this time. Uh, so definitely a better camera than the 750. So uh, not, not unhappy to pay that price for it. Um, took some test shots again, like I did with the 750D before uh, thinking about modifying it and everything looked good. So then it came to modifying and I had watched uh, a lot of YouTube videos, seen a lot of websites and, and things like that that give detailed instructions on exactly how to do it. And I thought to myself, I'm fairly you know, tech savvy. I'm, I'm sure I'll be capable of doing some camera surgery. But it all seemed to go quite well, but when I put everything back together, it uh, was not happy, let's say. So let me show you what, uh, what happens when I try and turn this bad boy on this era 20 so it makes that the shutter noise and then it just fails i did take this to a couple camera stores one of them wouldn't even look at it because uh, i mentioned that i had opened it which i know now not to do uh tip to you don't tell the camera repair guy that you've opened your camera they probably won't look at it so I took it to another camera store uh, and they told me that error 20 normally means that there's an issue with the shutter, which it certainly sounds like when you turn the camera on, but uh, they investigated and it's not the shutter, the shutter is fine. Uh, it is the, the chip um, in there, the motherboard. Uh, so they are saying that I would need to replace that and the cost of that was about $590, almost double what I paid for the camera. So obviously I did not go ahead with that. I played out over about two months and that really, really, upset me and put me off imaging, like I said, for a while. Fortunately, the weather was not, and still is not, all that good. Uh, and during the uh, spring here in, in Australia, there's, not, not, there's nothing too, too exciting in the sky to shoot. So it was a good time of year, I guess, for it, for all that to go down. But uh, yeah, it took me quite a while to get over that. And also just the loss, the loss of money is one thing, but also just the sense of failure and it's not a big deal to modify a DSLR, either yourself or someone else. And I managed to mess it up twice on two, for two very different reasons. And that, that got me down. And I, I wasn't hiding it uh, from, from those around me. I, I was telling people about this and I did mention it uh, to my dad amongst other people. So without me uh, uh, hinting or asking or anything, my, my dad very generously offered to, to buy me a camera. Uh, and I am extremely grateful for that. And uh, dad, if you're watching, probably not, but if you are, thank you again very much. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very big deal to me. I've never had a piece of astronomy gear given to me. I bought every single thing from my very first telescope uh, for visual astronomy 10 years ago to my mounts, my, you know, my accessories, my telescopes, everything uh, has all been, um, my dollar. So this is the first time I've had a, a sponsor, I guess, in a way, or someone someone to gift me something. I still really want a, uh, a modified DSLR, but I'm just a little burned, a little scarred right now. So I think that's a project I'll come back to in a few years time, maybe. But um, for now, this has just arrived. It actually arrived yesterday. Um, you can see from the from the tape there, it's ZWO. So I've gone the, the cooled astro camera route. Sneak preview of the next video, I did get a an adapter to attach my Canon lenses to this uh, camera. So I'll be able to use, you know, my my 14 millimeter Samyang and the 50 millimeter, you know, the nifty 50 as well with it. So I will still be able to do some wide field stuff with it, but it's just gonna be obviously not as portable. But if you wanna see what's in the box, you can check out that video right here. Without, uh, without me asking. Suki? 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 Hey! So without me ask 